Good day everyone, my name's Hans, builder of Legos, father of plants, hoarder of tulip bricks, and the narrator of this video. Welcome to part four of Paradisa City Hospital. I'm very excited for today's video, which is about these two ambulances and the helicopter, or should I say the futuristic electric VTOL medevac. If you haven't seen the first three videos of this behemoth hospital skyscraper, I encourage you guys to go watch it now or after this video. Tons of neat stuff jammed into tin floors. Links are above, below in the description, or at the very end of this video. All right, onwards to the good stuff. Starting with the first ambulance here, you may recognize this as the ambulance from 2012, set number 4431. And I've obviously heavily remocked it. Now I bought this ambulance in 2012 because not only was it a really great ambulance, but its style reminded me of a modern day version of the ambulance from 1994, set number 666, which was a huge favorite of mine in the 90s. Now, before I dig into all the remock modifications I've made to this ambulance, I wanna make three quick points. Uh, the first one is that all vehicles in Paradisa City are battery electric vehicles and if you recall that my Paradisa City is set in the future, in the year 2060. And so this ambulance obviously is going to be a battery electric vehicle. Now, if you happen to have seen this little detail in my previous videos, I specifically did not mention anything about it. I ignored it. And this is a wireless recharging coil so that when the ambulances park right over it, uh, it wirelessly recharges the ambulance battery. So. When the ambulances are not in use, they're just parked over the top of this and they're constantly keeping their batteries uh, fully charged for when they're ready to go in an emergency. The second point that I wanna make is that in Paradisa City in the year 2060, all vehicles have autonomous driving. And that's why you're gonna see this sensor on the very front of all my vehicles, that little robot sensor. Remember the uh, Mars space sets from 2018? Yeah. And that leads me to my third point. You may be wondering why the ambulance bay is below ground. And that has to do with the futuristic transportation system within Paradisa City. I won't go into the details in this video because it's just gonna bog this video down. In my next video, I will specifically discuss the new 2021 road plates that are coming out next year and how they're gonna work in my Paradisa City and why I like them as well as giving you guys a more in-depth description of how the futuristic transportation systems are gonna work within my Lego Paradisa City. So on that note, be sure to subscribe and try out the notification bell so that you can be sure to watch the video coming out next week on the road plates and the transportation system. On to my remock changes. The first thing that may jump out at you is the change on the tires. The wheels are bigger tires than what originally came on the set. And you may recognize these. These are the Speed Champion wheels that I think came out in 2016. Now, when LEGO first started coming out with six stud wide vehicles in the early 2000s, it obviously started to increase the scale of the vehicles. But what they didn't do was increase the scale of the tires or the wheels. And you ended up with these large industrial vehicles looking like they have really itty bitty wheels. And it's a huge pet peeve of mine. It was very hard for me to accept the change to a six stud wide conversion from four stud wide vehicles in the early 2000s. And I just thought that the continued usage of this little truck tire, which was predominant in the 90s for uh, large industrial shipping, trucking uh, vehicles, and they still use them on large shipping or trucking vehicles to this day. And to me, every time I see those vehicles, it just looks like a big vehicle with itty bitty wheels. I don't like it. And proportionally, now that all the cars are going with this size wheel, which is exactly the same size as the truck wheel, it further makes things out of proportion because now you've got cars that have the same size wheels as large industrial shipping vehicles. Uh, industrial vehicles, which in real life isn't the case. So I was absolutely ecstatic when in 2016 they came out with these size wheels in on the Speed Champions. And to this day, as soon as I get a large industrial vehicle, as I'm building the set for the very first time, 
I make this conversion. I convert the wheels and I convert the, the fender flares. And to show you an example, I've got three vehicles here. Here is the fire truck with the larger size wheels. And I think it looks much more proportionate. Here is another fire truck, I believe from 2017, with the bigger set of wheels. And I think it looks much better. And here is a bus, which I also converted to the larger size wheels. So since most ambulances are made from industrial working type vans, like the Mercedes Sprinter or the VW Crafter, they oftentimes have these much larger wheels. Now, not always. I think in American, American industrial vans use much larger wheels, but in Europe, you'll often see the Mercedes Sprinter van and VW Crafter vans with much smaller wheels. And maybe that's just due to uh, cost efficiencies. But in this particular ambulance, the scale of it seemed to justify going with the larger industrial type size of a wheel. Now, I understand that it's a low profile sports car tire from Speed Champions, and I'm okay with that for now, because what I'd rather see is the proper scale proportionality. Another change I made was I added mirrors. In 2012, they weren't adding mirrors to some things. The other thing I did was I changed the nose completely. When the ambulance in the 2018 hospital came out, I really liked how that was done. So what I did was I remocked the front end to match a similar style to the, to the ambulance in the 2018 hospital set. It gave the nose of the ambulance a more modern look. The other thing that I did was I got rid of the hinging uh, roof piece, uh, which gave access, and I decided to swap it out for a removable uh, roof piece. And that was just so I could get rid of the studs and, and make it more um, aesthetically smooth. I've also made changes to the hinge back here, the, the ambulance lights, the back bumper down here. On the inside, I got rid of the driver barrier wall and I moved the monitor screens over to the side here and I've incorporated an extra seat in there uh, for the second paramedic. And these are the original paramedics, but um, I didn't like the black hairdo that piece that she had, so I swapped in a Han Solo uh, hairpiece. And it looks good. And then, of course, I've added some ramps, and the stretcher just slides right in and goes right up the ramp. And that is it for this ambulance. Second ambulance. My favorite one. So this is the original from the Lego City Hospital set 60204. And this is a really great ambulance and I really like it. it um, they did a really good job with that set. In fact, I liked it so much that I decided to create my own mock uh, based on that of just a sort of kind of industrial sprinter crafter van uh, that does either deliveries or is kind of like a business uh, industrial truck, you know, like a, like a plumber or something. Uh, so it's it's based on that exact design. So the designer of that ambulance of that set did a really great job, just like they did with the hospital. Now, I don't like 100% of it, obviously, because um, I I made it better. I made uh, I made my own. I made another one, and this one's longer. It's stretched by two studs, and that's because I always want to have a second seat in there for the second paramedic. Obviously, you need to have a paramedic that is. Uh, giving attention to the to the patient and so I, I stretched it made room for uh, the second paramedic now I stayed with the smaller wheels because as I said in Europe a lot of times these industrial vans do use much smaller diameter uh, more of a carb wheel size wheels and I thought it looked appropriate for this particular van although one thing I did was because I stretched it I raised up the back end so the ambulance does have a, a tilt a stance to it you know one of those cool aggressive uh, forward leans to it you know, which I really like I like doing that to my cars Lego started doing that to a bunch of cars I think um, in sets back in 2015 2016 and I really liked it and I've done it on a number of my mocks uh, one other reason I did it was because uh, because it has the longer wheelbase, 
uh, and it, it is a very low to the ground type vehicle. I wanted to give it just a smidge more of ground clearance, and so by raising up the back end, it, it helps do that. And I thought it'd be a lot more futuristic and cool looking to have the emergency blue lights running all the way across the front of the vehicle. And again, electric vehicles don't need air intake. In fact, it's actually having air intakes or a front grill is very bad for electric vehicles because it adds wind resistance and they don't need a grill which will suck in air to cool down a radiator because electric vehicles don't need radiators to cool engines. So moving on to the inside. I've added the second seat for the second paramedic. Um, I've also added a computer screen to the front of my vehicle. And you're gonna start seeing a lot of my vehicles have computer screens in the very front. And that is because they are fully autonomous vehicles, uh, only specialty vehicles where they require maneuvering outside of an autonomous situation, do they have steering wheels. So a lot of my vehicles, I've actually removed the steering wheels and only have a computer screen. There's another computer monitor here, and this is basically for the patient. Uh, so maybe I'll replace this with a sticker that has like a heart monitor or something eventually in the future. Now, one thing I'm experimenting with, and it's not fully set in stone, is trying to get the stretcher uh, over to the left side as much as possible. So what I've done is I've used these one by four um, wall, wall panel pieces uh, to enable to get the stretcher over there. Unfortunately, uh, because the window piece comes down right here, the patient's arm still interferes with the window piece and so it kind of looks awkward, doesn't look normal uh, for the minifigure to have his arm up like that. Um, but I'm doing that because in real life, ambulances have plenty of room to maneuver off to the side of the patient or the stretcher. And of course, in Lego ambulances, you know, they take up the whole back end. You can't do that. It's just an experiment at the moment. I may go back to the previous setup. I did change the back end here a little bit on the original set. The opening at the very bottom is sort of exposed and these uh, lights and license plate used to be right up here. I just moved them down here and used some uh, bracket pieces right there to kind of cover up that opening on the very bottom. I'll show you on the, on the original set. See how it's kind of open right there on the bottom. So that's what I did on the bottom there. And one last detail is uh, for the roof pieces, I decided to have the matching roof pieces that match this uh, contour right there. So yeah, this is my Paradisa City Hospital Ambulance. This is my favorite one. And um, I really like how it came out. And there you go. Those are my two ambulances for Paradisa City Hospital. Right there in the ambulance bay. One of them is dropping off a, an emergency patient who's ready to talk about the eVTOL medevac. I know I am. Okay, and here is the, also from 2018, set number 60179. And this is not the VTOL that is going with my Paradisa City Hospital, but the VTOL was based on this model. And uh, this is a helicopter. Now, Paradisa City, is mostly going to have electric VTOLs flying around uh, the skyways of its city and not so much of helicopters but it will have helicopters for extreme situations like heavy lifting or heavy heavy rural um, rescue type situations so again this was uh, this set used the yellow and red and, and Lego is using this for its alpine rescue colors but uh, I thought it would be nice to keep with these colors, uh, the red and yellow for the medibac. So yeah, let's move on to my VTOL medibac. And of course we can't forget the helipad, uh, which I ripped off the top of my hospital. So obviously I bought a second set of the 60179. And originally my only remock to it was to just convert the skis to the wheels so that this would be the official um, hospital medevac. And then when I decided to make my Paradisa City to be set in the future, 
um, that's when I decided to convert this whole thing into a VTOL. So if you guys don't know what a VTOL is, it stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Uh, it's kind of the no nomenclature that they're using for the electric drone type helicopters that say like Uber and Hyundai are developing, you know, like, like an, an Uber flight from like city to city or something like that. And another inspiration too was that Lego has been doing a lot of these uh, four rotor aircraft as well, four or dual rotor aircraft. I think the Lego Jungle Explorers has one. There's the last range of Arctic uh, Explorer sets. So I really like how this came out. Uh, another reason why I chose to go with a VTOL was because of the real estate area of the helicopter pad. I didn't want to have this huge helipad in order to accommodate a large helicopter. Obviously this would crash and smash and uh, it just wouldn't work and if the helicopter landed this way then um, this rear entrance would be facing the wrong direction. So I wanted to have this type of helicopter or this type of medivac but it was just simply too big. It's 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 got to have this long it's got to have this long tail. It's got this huge rotor on the top of it. It just didn't work for me. And I wanted the top of my hospital to be known for the, all the plants on top and not so much of this massive helipad. So uh, I kept the helipad at this size and was able to convert um, this one into a VTOL. And it has a much smaller uh, footprint and so it can therefore fit on a much smaller helipad. So as with most of my other vehicles in this futuristic city, that run autonomously this thing can land autonomously it'll have the sensors on the very bottom and so the pilot doesn't even need to do anything this thing will automatically uh, talk to the computers on the helipad itself and can precisely land itself without uh, hitting the trees or the or the elevator and again as with the ambulances this is a wireless charging point uh, for the uh, the VTOL. So when it lands, it's automatically getting a recharge uh, for its next flight out. So that's why I didn't mention that either on my previous videos. I just wanted to save this detail and talk about it when I presented ambulances and medevac. Another thing I did was I made fully opening doors. Uh, notice on the hinging of the doors at the very top, there are no air gaps or leaks. And the rear hatch opens up and becomes a ramp. And for this particular medevac, I have designed a robotic assisted stretcher. And uh, this thing will robotically follow the paramedics to the emergency scene and has all the proper equipment and can be remote controlled or just be programmed to uh, autonomously uh, follow the paramedics or go where the paramedics tell it to go and it is it can be all terrain it can kind of go over tricky terrain or whatever I did try to kind of come up with a a kind of robotic dog walking uh, four-legged uh, stretcher that could kind of walk over even more treacherous terrain uh, however it, uh, I kind of gave up on that at, for the moment because it was becoming too uh, too big of a scale. So this thing kind of just drives right up, goes right in there, has all the equipment that's needed, and as you can see this medevac has the room for the ramp to come down and for the stretcher to come out and go right onto the elevator. I've also added windows here on the door, and one of the reasons why the windows sit a little bit lower is so that the minifigure could sit on the left side of the vehicle where, and uh, her arm would be able to fit in there. Now as far as this being, say, like a real LEGO set that LEGO could use, the playability of this is uh, terrible because in order to have structural support uh, going from top to bottom, I ended up trapping the uh, front canopy piece. It is not easily removable at this moment. So it wouldn't work for um, a set, a Lego set that Lego could sell uh, to children because uh, you just can't take the nose piece off. And I really love how this came out. I, I love how futuristic this is. I think it's it looks great. 
Uh, it has all the functionality that I like to see in a Lego set. I am a kind of person where I'm very OCD about having as much functionality um, and, a, and a bit of realisticness uh, to my Lego sets. And even as a kid, uh, getting Lego sets in the 90s, uh, functionality, like the more functions and features and realisticness that a Lego set had, um, the more exciting it was for me. And that's, I, try, I follow that as much as possible in all my, in all my mock builds. This is one of my favorite builds. It's my first uh, VTOL uh, mock that I created. And I think it suits Paradisa City Hospital and the futuristic tropical city, Paradisa City. Insert fake drone sound. <laughs> And there it is guys, that's the top five floors of my Paradisa City Hospital. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the other three videos where I show interior and exterior and all 10 floors and the elevator zooming up and down the 10 floors. Actually, there's two elevators that are zooming up and down. Uh, definitely go watch parts one, two, and three. Link is at the end of this video. And if you guys like my ambulances and as well as my eVTOL, medevac slash helicopter whatever you want to call it go ahead and share these videos hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave me some comments let me know what you guys think of the ambulances and the medevac and or even the video in general and thanks guys for watching my videos i really do appreciate it and i hope you guys are gonna have a happy snappy very merry awesome gotham with blossoms christmas holiday thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys on the flip side of my next video check y'all later